Dear friends, over the last seven years, I made everything, everything as the president of the State of Israel to fulfill the sacred duty of preserve the memory of the Holocaust and to combat all forms of Holocaust denial. There are many reasons to be optimistic, but there uh, is still much, much to be done. Last year, just before the pandemic, I hosted a historic gathering of some 50 world leaders who came, came here to Jerusalem to strengthen our shared commitment to Holocaust remembrance and education and our shared determination to combat all forms of anti-Semitism, hatred, and racism. In January this year, we saw moving International Holocaust Day ceremonies which included, for the first time, young leaders from the UAE, Bahrain, and across all of the Middle East. And just, just last month, I met with the president of Germany, Austria, and France and discussed ways to ensure that the lesson of the Holocaust are never forgotten. Yet, while there are many reasons to be optimistic, there are also reasons to be concerned, very much concerned. The next generation will have fewer and fewer opportunities to hear directly from the Holocaust survivors. Holocaust distortion and denial is increasing in parts of the world, and we are seeing anti-Semitism from the left and from the right, spreading once again on the streets, online, and even in the halls of power. Friends, today on Yom HaShoah, we must stand united and demand with one, one voice, zero tolerance for any more of anti-Semitism and any form of anti-Semitism and racism and hatred, no matter what the source. 76 years after the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau, we must renew our commitment to work together to preserve the memory of the Holocaust, fight anti-Semitism, and ensure that our shared promise of never again become a shared reality. Thank you. Thank you very much, and may God bless all of you. Toda Rabbah.